Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. This is an all Virgo channel for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. If you want to get a personal reading from me, you guys, there's a link in the description box below. I um, only have one week left of opening, so grab that as soon as you can. I am running a special 30-minute <clears throat> phone call reading for $100. Um, and also, you can join my channel, become a member, where you pay uh, a certain fee each month, and you will re receive um, unlimited personal readings when you join in the live chat, in the live stream, live chat. <laughs> All right, you guys, um, please do hit like, share, and subscribe on the video if you enjoy this video and this reading and this channel. And I think that's it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys, look underneath this video. I now have merchandise and I'm selling and I'm going to keep adding as time goes on. So do check that out. Um, I think you'll like what's down there. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's get started here. Virgo, Virgo, what is the drama? Okay, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Finances and career. Okay, we're getting down to business here, Virgo. Financial issues are a factor in this relationship at this time, but very soon a decision is going to get made. Oh, wow. That is point blank period on point here. Listen, um... Two major things going on in some kind of connection. Um, two people who are very different, have huge obstacles between them. Religious, racial, geographical, economical, um, you name it. And also, there's a financial problem on somebody's side, okay? Or on both sides, and it's affecting. There's a career change. Somebody's making a decision here. A very big decision about changing a career or a job or about whether or not some kind of relationship can work with these differences okay sorry sorry that was loud let's take a look here and see what the messages are you know I just want to give this a couple of extra shuffles hi everybody in the chat how are you all right All right, Virgo. What are the messages for Virgo? Gotta, I hope this isn't too loud in your ears. I know I gotta put like a muffler, a buffer or something on my microphone. Sorry about that. All right, let's see. Let's get straight to it and do it here. Okay, somebody is coming out of their comfort zone, overcoming their fear, six of swords. Uh, somebody here is making a huge but necessary transition, either relocating or moving, traveling. All right. Somebody here is going to be in this position of communicating. They got great plans and ideas, feeling excited and enthusiastic about these changes. Lifestyle change, the chariot. There's movement here. This could be as simple as like, do I have enough money to buy a new car? Can I travel? Um, two people have different religious views or were raised differently or are now changing their religious views or seeing things differently. One believes in God, one believes in frogs. Um, cultural differences, huge, big lifestyle change. Somebody here is coming out of some kind of situation that they've been in for so long that they no longer it's not satisfying it's not working it's oppressing them could be family family views uh, oppression by family religious beliefs upbringing finances career needing to put career first or work first Cancer energy there. Taurus, okay. Look at this, the Hierophant. This is 100% looking at religious beliefs. Looking at spiritual beliefs. Looking at traditions. Um, looking at conventional expectations and conformity. Somebody is actually 
moving away from this. Now, if this were in the reverse, I would say that they were rebelling, which is just stupid because that's not really thinking, that's just running. Somebody is actually coming out of a comfort zone that they've been in uh, or that they have been living in where they've kind of been like just following along, following the rules, you know, not, not taking any risks, not breaking the rules got to follow these family traditions or you know what's expected of them through their life it could it very well could be you um but it could be another person as well hold on a second i'm getting a phone call um so i feel like yep you're getting a you're getting a message or you're sending a message somebody there might be an apology somebody here i'm just going to say somebody i'm not going to say you or they I'm just gonna, somebody here is apologizing for i want to say for sticking to something that was not in alignment they kept two people out of um, alignment in a love relationship it interfered these differences interfered somebody here is communicating wants to have a new love start okay um, is volunteering now voluntarily bringing this energy in reunion three of cups okay there's an energy here of someone needing a great deal of support in order, in order to make something here happen and in order to move something forward is how I feel. Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. This is an offer for marriage. This is an offer to stabilize this connection. Okay, is it you? Could be you. Maybe you're making an offer. Maybe you're seeing that these differences can be overcome. Um, so, you know, somebody has to bend here. That's what I feel like. There was there was rigidity. Somebody has to bend. Somebody has to make um, a sacrifice in order for something to work. Okay, somebody has to lay down their sword, drop their swords, make that sacrifice. I feel like this is the person you're connected with. They're laying down their sword here. See it down there on the bottom? No more fighting. This is peace. This is harmony. No more restless behavior. Um, This feels like somebody is making the sacrifice, like, you know, they, like the sacrificial lamb, you know, laying there. You're, this is, Virgo, I feel like if you were involved with someone who was not willing to, or they just couldn't break away from uh, traditions or family or a particular lifestyle or their career, uh, make me always putting career first and never had opportunity for a committed relationship or marriage or something along those lines this person is actually doing this here they're the ones making the sacrifice now virgo listen i want to keep it real if this was you and your person felt like you weren't making the sacrifice that you were putting obstacles or leaving obstacles in the way I see you doing this here, breaking down those doors, those obstacles. Maybe it's both of you. One of you has a particular way of being or living and another has, a, has one of their own. And there was a hard time getting on the same page. Well, we have two pages here. One for each of you, getting on the same page. Look, the fool taking a risk here. You guys, this reading is going to be short tonight um, because I just feel like this is to the point. There's a risk here, and it's basically F the consequences, okay, with the fool. There's a new beginning here. A new path is emerging. There's hope. 
starting all over like the baby a new life starting a new life with you having this new beginning with you i just want to ask virgo what are you doing <laughs> you want the same thing you want to make the offer you want to receive the offer virgo knight of cups <laughs> but you're you're fighting it you're gonna fight it <laughs> virgo you're a tough cookie you're a tough nut to crack Um, I feel like that toughness is also a good thing because you can be counted on to defend and stick up for and stand up for people that you love and, and what's right and just, you know, um, you know, Virgos ought to be, you know, it's interesting to me how the justice card represents Libra and that's all about balance, but Virgos are the ones who are righteous and Virgos are the ones who seek justice much more so than Librans. Librans do seek it, but they spend a lot of time weighing things back and forth and they have a hard time choosing a side or making a decision. They're always like, okay, they, they can be convinced. Virgos are kind of like, nope, nope. I'll fight to the death all the way to the end because I know it's right and I know it's just and Virgos will do that for love as well when Virgo loves someone if that person is like yes Virgo let's do this Virgo will be out there leading the charge you know fighting all the way for their person and no one could dare stand up to Virgo you think Aries and Leo's roar uh-uh Virgo is impenetrable and has the ability like Virgo oh, Virgo's earth Virgo can like earthquake the shit out of everybody and just knock them to the floor in one fell swoop that's how Virgo is Virgo is the earth the you know the the tectonic plates <laughs> you know what I mean Virgo's like <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this, but Virgo, I just feel like, you know, you stand up. You're more than a thunderclap. You're more than the roar of the seas. You're like the entire, you're like the skull. You're like a hard skull. You can't be, you can't be taken down. When you're fighting for just or something, your cause and something that you want, if you're not like that, Virgo, um, Maybe you just haven't recognized it in yourself, but a true Virgo uh, will go to the ends of the earth for people. And they'll move mountains for people. So look at you. See, that's what I'm talking about. The lovers. <laughs> Fine. If you don't want to believe me, don't believe me. I don't give a shit. I know what I'm talking about, you guys. Trust me. There. That's what I'm saying. You will fight to the death for love. You're not afraid to stand up. You're not afraid to defend your love or defend, defend your person. It's a damn shame that some people don't see that about you. Some people do see it and they think you're out of your mind. They don't understand. They just don't understand. They think you're crazy. No, they don't understand. But you have like a quiet, you have a quiet, you have a quietness about your movement, Virgo. Uh, you don't stand on top of the rafters and tell everybody that you're about to shake the planet. You just... Patiently wait, and then you shake the fuck out of the planet. That's how you are, Virgo. <laughs> All right, let me see here. I can't get that card. Oh. Okay. Hidden truth, Oracle. What is this person hiding from you, Virgo? What is the hidden truth from this person? I wonder if you are happy without me and I'm becoming a better person because nobody is around Virgo and doesn't become a better person. Like they have to. You, you just cannot be around Virgo and not be better. You can't walk away from Virgo and be worse off. It's just impossible. And if you feel worse off, it's because you just couldn't handle it or you couldn't take it. I feel you leaving me behind. Well, Virgo, this is this person's insecurity um 
because I don't think you've ever really left anybody behind. You never would leave people behind, but you won't hang out if you catch my drift. You know what I mean? You won't leave people suffering, but you won't hang out to watch the suffering, you know, if that's the energy that they're in. But they, this person is kind of like, I feel like they don't want you to leave because they do need you because you do show them the way and the path. But at the same time, you're like, you know, mf -er, I got 20 other people that need my help. I got 20 other people that are dependent on me. I can't stand here with you all day while you become a better person. You got to stand on your own two feet and become a better person because I'm trying to become a better person and, and help other people as well. Right? I don't know who needed to hear that, but that's just what I heard. It was my fault, but I blamed you. It was like, yeah, I freaking know. I mean, it, come on. I lost myself for a little while. Virgo, you know all this. I hid who I really am from you. Virgo, you can't pull the wool over Virgo's eyes. You just can't. Virgo has clarity of truth. Virgo can see right through the uh, smoke screen you know it's interesting i was um looking up some war history because i'm really fascinated with like war history and i was trying i was like where did the term smoke screen come from and it's an old war tactic that they used i think world war ii when they were flying flying their um flying the planes they would with the exhaust from the jets or the plane they know jets back then i guess the exhaust from the planes they would just create a screen of smoke going across the sky like in a like in a curtain they would go straight down and it was kind of like a wall but it was like an ex it was like an, a plane exhaust wall it was really cool um, I never knew that, and I was like, oh, okay, I always wondered where that came from. But Virgo, I mean, smoke screens are made of just clouds, but you have an ability, no matter how thick the clouds are, you cut right through that. And I feel like with this person, you've already already seen, but not in a harsh, judgmental way, uh, maybe at first, because you maybe you were angry, but at some point, you always get to this, oh, okay, I get it, this is what's going on with them. This has nothing to do with me. This is not my problem. Sure, I want them to be better and have help, but this is not my problem. This person has their own decisions that they have to be making here, and they have to meet you halfway. And I feel like they're going to try to meet you halfway. And I feel like that's what you want, some of you. Anybody, you want anyone to just meet you halfway. Spiritual lesson. This person is, your, is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson, or you're in their life to teach them a spiritual lesson. Here you go. Decision. Decision is being made about this relationship here. Oh. And if it's a friendship, it's leading to more. There might have been something very taboo, or you guys couldn't come together because maybe because it was a friendship and maybe it felt like it was forbidden or it shouldn't happen, or that kind of energy strong passion try something you've never done before i don't know if i said that here balance one person giving too much in this relationship and there's a new love or a recommitment to love is developing now for some of you let me just say this this is not a past x okay for some it could be for others of you this is someone that you know or that you start off becoming friends with and it starts turning into something more but there's a lot of taboo. Maybe there's it's a work thing. You can't get together because of work. Or you have these differences in your beliefs or cultural or there's distance or whatever. There's obstacles of some sort. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to give you a couple of messages. Oh. Okay, somebody's birthday is in July, and I just heard Ariel, Aaron, it's an AR, our initials AR. Um, I'm also hearing July 11th. Okay. And a letter F. 
getting the letter F. Somebody's initials start with an F or N, or there's an F somewhere in the name. And um, A. Oh, I just heard Mick, M Mickey, M Mick, or Mike, or Michael, or Mikey, or Mick, Mick. All right, we've got an April birthday, maybe April 1st. Um, oh, definitely a Michael, or Mika, M-I-C-A, M-I-C-H-A, or me, Mika. Uh, Jo Siong, Jo Siong, Jo Siong, Jo Siong. It's J O S Y E O N or Jo Sian, Jo Jo Sean. Okay. Okay. Oh, somebody puts equate in their tea or their coffee. It's like a it's like a sweetener. Equate? Are you using equate? <laughs> Not for me, but I'm just hearing equate. Or somebody's. Oh, we need to equate or equalize something here in this relationship. Become equals. Um. Okay. Sunny. Somebody's name is Sunny. Or sunny where you are. Oh. Oh. Um. Okay. I get a lot of dragons lately. Lately, I've been getting so many dragons. And there's someone who, you know, those little weed wishes that grow. You can just blow on them and make a wish. I just saw somebody doing that. Now, I don't know if somebody's doing that now or did that before or always does that when they're out. They see those little wishes and they make those wishes. They blow those wishes. Okay. Okay. Sylvia. I'm hearing the name Sylvia. And then also uh, you versus me. Somebody's saying you versus me. I'm hearing us or you versus me. Okay. Okay, the letter S. Oh, somebody's smoking a cigarette. <laughs> Okay, again, okay. So you guys, um, I'm here, all right, so they're giving me, there's a PS, somebody's gonna text you. They text you something and then underneath they write PS, okay. And that P.S. is very, very important. Make sure that you pay attention to what that P.S. is. I don't know who does that in text. Does anybody do that? Somebody must do it. Okay. Um, 20, the 26th through the 28th are going to be very important days. Or are, already are, very important days. 26th through the 28th. Um, somebody is 34. Uh, somebody was born. Okay, so they're giving me three consecutive days, 82, 83, and 84, the years. Somebody's 58. Okay. Oh, JoJo. JoJo. Uh, joking. Okay, that's what they're saying. Somebody is a jokester tells a lot of jokes, plays a lot of jokes, is, just makes everybody laugh. Life of the party, like a jokester. 
okay, if that's you or your person, somebody's always making or cracking jokes and very funny person or is trying to be like a comedian or something. Very, very funny person. You can't, you always laugh. Somebody always laughs when they're around this person with their jokes. Okay. Let's get some charms. Okay, we have a dinosaur. Oh. And a blue flowers, little tiny blue flowers. It's like this blue color. Very beautiful. Blue flower dress. Somebody might have a blue print flower dress or wears blue print flowers. Okay, silver butterfly. Very simple looking butterfly. Butterflies and blue flowers I'm picking up here. Or blue butterflies. Or it's a print or a picture you might see. And this dinosaur, it's a brontosaurus. Maybe somebody drives a Bronco. Yeah, because, oh, okay, they're giving me the Denver Broncos. <laughs> Just right now, Denver Broncos. I know some of you are in Europe and you don't know what I'm talking about, but that's right, it's not for you. Maybe Bronco or dinosaur means something. Horses and dinosaurs, little child's PJs too. And again, we have a key. Again, somebody's in, um, works for, um, they do civic service. Uh, somebody, oh, they just gave me the word pennant, pennant. But somebody works in police or fire. Okay. A couple more. Oh, the yin and the yang. You're the yin to my yang. Okay. Somebody's smoking some ganja and they're seeing bunny rabbits. This is a fighting, this is a boxing bunny. Somebody's a fighter. Okay. This might, now it looks like a bunny, but it could also be a kangaroo, you know, how they fight. So maybe something to do with, I guess, Australia. I'm not sure. I've never seen a kangaroo in my life, so I don't know if that's what they do. But, you know, I kind of see it on TV here and there. Um, but this yin and the yang, this is like two people who are completely opposite and they have to find a way you know it's like very black and white maybe there's a racial issue but very black and white two people opposites attract but when that yin yang starts spinning it creates gray and that's the world the world is not in black and white the world's in gray the further you pan out from the the, the world the colors all begin to turn turquoise much like this flower here right because of the blue and the white and the green. The closer you get into the earth, the more it looks blue, white, and green. But when you pull away, it all kind of blends into one color until you can't see it, until it dissolves. Um, this turquoise is also making me feel like um, tropical water as well. Um, very crystal clear tropical water. It's very, it, someone's connected to that. All right, they're saying get another one. Oh, that's a message that says, love me. Somebody wants you to love them, Virgo. Love me. It says L-O-V-E-M-E, -E, and it's written in, like, it's wording. Love me. We also have a web. Okay, there might be some kind of communication over the Internet. World Wide Web, there's two people at a distance, they communicate over the web. This could also be like fighting to get out of some kind of sticky situation or a web situation, being trapped in a web. That some of you are needing to let go or get out of if you need help. Here's the scissors. Keep a knife or a blade on you. <laughs> cutting the cords for some of you all right i'm gonna leave your messages there this is short and sweet for the weekend i'll be back on 
uh, Sunday evening to do the rest of your messages. Um, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope some of this resonated for you. And again, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Also, please do join my channel. You can become a member. And once you become a member, you get unlimited tarot readings from me, mini tarot readings. All you have to do is join in the chat in the live stream, join the chat, ask your questions, and I'll just pull cards for you. All right, you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this and I will see you all very soon. Take care.